Custody of the children in a divorce is one of the most difficult topics that a lawyer discusses with their client. There are many different custody arrangements that work for different families. In New Jersey, generally speaking, there are two types of custody that we're focused on. We're focused on legal custody, who has legal rights to the access to the children's records, their school records, their medical records, and our statute really does prefer joint legal custody. So I tell my clients, absent some extenuating circumstances, you and your former spouse are going to share joint legal custody. The next question really becomes the physical custody. Who is going to be designated what we now call the parent of primary residence? This is the home in which the child or children will live in for the majority of the time during the course of a year. And then the other parent is referred to as the parent of alternate residence. That is usually where the contention comes in. If both parents are looking to be the parent of primary residence, the question becomes is is this family in a situation where they could have a shared parenting arrangement, where the children are really split 50-50 between mom and dad? A lot of factors go into whether a 50-50 custody arrangement will work, the proximity of the family's homes, the, the work responsibilities of each parent. Um, there are several factors that you'll need to discuss with your attorney to determine if 50-50 custody is really right for you. If that arrangement is not suitable for your family, then one parent is going to be the primary parent, and the other parent, the parent of alternate residence, will have a parenting time schedule. This schedule can be as much or as little as the family can decide. Oftentimes, you know, the non-custodial parent or the parent of alternate residence will have alternate weekends. Maybe there are some dinner visits during the course of a week. But I always say there's no cookie cutter approach to custody. Uh, job responsibilities are different in each family. And the question really becomes what's going to be in the best interest of the children. In an ideal situation, the parents are able to work together to build a custody and a parenting time plan that really is focused on their children. And if I give my clients one piece of advice that I, I hope they really listen to with custody and parenting time, it's the parents are, are the best people to really help make this determination. You should really sit down and step away from the fact that you're divorcing and really just focus on the child or the children of the marriage and what's going to be most suitable for them. That will drive the conversation for the best custody and parenting time for your family.